Hey everybody, it's me Dave, somethingfishing.net, Cleveland, Ohio, and um, give you an idea what I did today, um, doing wire changes, uh, how to do multiple tanks at uh, one time. So multitasking, time management, especially when you own a business, and an H2, hatchery 2, there's only about 82 tanks, mostly bigger tanks, but um, that's what I'm doing today. Um, tomorrow I might do S2 or H1, um, like one, two days a week, um, do wire changes here at this building, the hatchery. So um, let's go take a look. Going down to the fish dungeon. All right, well, I already started this morning earlier, then I had to go pick up some fish. So, what I end up doing is, I just got the line hooked up to the sink. So, I'm going to start filling here shortly. But, I get two lines going, two drains going to the floor drain right there. So, I get on each side. And, uh... Do a water change, start taking water out as I'm um, draining. Sometimes I'll go and grab filters and um, clean those. Um, then I go back and vacuum a little bit more when stuff settles. I mark the tanks, glass tanks, with a dry erase marker. Um, so if I'm not doing it, Dylan or somebody else, or whatever, so they know which tanks to do. This metrocity here was trying to save the first batch of water lettuce and hyacinths. Uh, a lot of them not made it, not make it. It's a 150 gallon curlic, four foot by four foot by 16, I think. Um, so, yep, I gotta clean that out, get all that out. Net all the crap, dead matter out, rinse it and drain it again. So, yeah, that one's a little bit more work. Um, so as I'm filling, I'll probably work on dismantling that tank. Um, people always like, how in the world do you do it? You know, blah, blah, blah. And you know, how much, how many wire changes do you do? Or how many, how much maintenance do you do on a tank? Um, there's a wild MOBAs, which will have some new, new wilds coming in this Friday. And there's some babies in there, obviously. Burundis, but um, there's no set concrete maintenance on any particular tank. It all depends on the filtration. I have my built uh, box filters, um, sponge filters. It depends on the bio load, how many fish, size fish, kinds of fish are in a tank, how much waste they're going to produce. Uh, some tanks need wire changes more often, some need them less, you know, so it all depends. When they start getting kind of on the yellow side, I see a lot of a gook built up, dead spots. I go in there and try to vacuum that stuff out. Now, obviously, some of these got some can uh, power filters on there, like Dot Clear 110s. There's the um, Mazwas. Look at that beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Look at the big dad. The big bull, couple babies, and um, I'm actually gonna put a new sponge filter on there because the real old one was just falling apart. It was it was done, but my airline is like hard solid, so I gotta put a new airline in so I can, so I can attach it. This is the uh, Samazi group. There's the big boy. I just pulled a female with a mouthful earlier today. There's that mess down there. So, yeah, I just go through and see what tanks need what. If anything's looking yellow or anything stressed. Um, like I got all these baby front tanks, doing water changes. Um, usually I put the tops back on for especially the adult stuff, adult fertosis, especially the wild stuff, because that's a lot of money. Uh, I don't want them jumping out. A lot of the males usually hiding, must be hungry. So, um, yeah, so I'll put the toss back on until I start filling, then I start opening them back up. So I vacuum, sometimes I'll come back and vacuum again. 
There's the Lalupi group, Venistus, Rostratus. Some, yeah, filters gonna get Nangus, the Pemways. I end up losing a Icola, a big one like that. Must have been another male was destroyed. Yep, didn't see it was floating near that pipe. So, yep, and I just go through and I can do a lot draining two tanks at the same time. Um, be proficient. Look at the new baby uh, Smazi, little heads and tails. Aren't they cute? So, yep. And as I'm filling, I could be feeding. I could run to the other H1, the other hatchery, next door, basement. And um, so, yep. Oh, those wolf fish, I gotta feed those. I forget about them being down there. We got some at the shop for sale. So, grab right females. I think it's all females in there. Gotta get a male. So, anyhow, big filters. I just did that one. Uh, the, the sump, the sump, drain that really good. The main filters, I need to break down. It's been a long time since I've touched those. Um, that'll be the summer project. So, yep, and uh, that's what I do. I've done uh, all, when I had this retail store, Next door upstairs, S1. I've done all four spaces, the store, S2, H1, H2, all at the same time. I was draining in all four sections and even doing some of the small tanks by bucket. So I was doing five water changes, five tanks at a time. And then I'd start filling over here and filling over there and I just kept running back and forth. I had the water blasted, but enough at a, a good flow. And um, I could do what normally would take somebody all day in a couple hours, sometimes two, three hours, um, kind of seasoned and doing this stuff. With gomas. That desire, the papa's getting beat up, the bigger girl. So, anyway, long enough. I think I can switch back and forth. There's always maintenance, always work to do. A little humid, a little, a little hot. But, um, it's a good day. Gotta get the water changes. Fish need a bath. They get thirsty. <laughs> all right, like, subscribe, share, all that jive. Appreciate it. Um, shop hours. We are closed Memorial Day, but we're open Monday, Thursday, Friday, one till six. Wednesdays and Saturdays, eleven to five. Other times could be by appointment, but right now I am pretty dang on busy with many other things. So, um, yo. Give a shot, stop by, buy a fish. We got like stupid deals on the Blue Bull uh, Flex Tanks, Spec Tanks, the Shrimp Tank, EBI. Um, we have a 180 big combo deal, a 75 combo deal. I mean, the some of those tanks, some of the prices are better than you're gonna find online. Better than Amazon. So remember, Cashola gets a better price. We're gonna pay a little bit more with credit card. So we got some fish deals going on. We just got fishing today. Today is what the 25th. I got a quarter of what I ordered. I don't know what the heck's going on, but I did get some small shabumpkins and sort of fantails, dwarf frogs, black neons, rosy red, or no, rosy uh, barbs. I think that's it. I mean, I can't believe it. I didn't get no tiger barbs. There's a bunch of stuff I ordered. Weather loaches, none of that stuff came. I don't know what's going on. I guess there's a shortage of fish, the shipping, everything's ridiculous, but anybody knows what's going on. So, all right, thanks for hanging out. See you on the next one. I'm out. Bye.